Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video. In this video, I would like to show you how you can transfer your crypto from Coinbase over to your Trezor hardware wallet. I use the Trezor hardware wallet to uh, store my cryptos. And I would like to show you this with an example of Quant. So how can you actually move ERC20 tokens over from an exchange to your Trezor hardware wallet. Very important in your Trezor dashboard that you can see here, you click on Ethereum. Yeah, you need to activate Ethereum on your Trezor and you can then click on Ethereum. Then here on the, um, in the Ethereum account here or dashboard in your Trezor hardware wallet application, you can then get the receiver address. So that means you have an address where you want to send the tokens from the exchange two okay and this will be your receiver address very important so always click on ethereum if you want to send any erc20 token to my understanding you can send any erc20 token to your trezor hardware wallet in this example i will show you quant um, and you can see there uh, this is your ethereum yeah account and you need to select that and then on the right hand side you click on receive and this is your address and you need to reveal the full address to copy it and this is the address you want to copy and you then want to give the exchange to send your ERC20 tokens to. So I'm not going to reveal it now um, but this is exactly the address that you need. You can copy it when you receive it or uh, when you reveal it by clicking on show full address you can get that address and then we go to Coinbase. On Coinbase, I only have a few hundred dollars left at these days because I transferred most of it away due to the recent issues uh, with various exchanges limiting withdrawals and so on and certain rumors about Coinbase as well. So what you need to do here, um, you click on send receive in that corner there. In my example, I want to send quant. So Q and T, you select pay with quant. In this case, I want to send the entire quantity. Very important. I would always recommend send only maybe a test quantity first, one or two dollars, uh, so that you know it will actually arrive. But in this case, I've done that already. I know it will arrive. I know the Ethereum address. I've done it before. So in this case, I select quant. Yeah, I've got down there, you can see $323 of quant left on Coinbase. So I click on send all. And um, yeah, then I copy, I paste the Ethereum address that I just showed you yeah, from the Trezor hardware, the receive address. That is the one that you want to copy in here. If you click on send because you want to send it to that address, then you click on continue and all you need to do then is send now. And that is exactly what I'm going to do now. There's always a small network fee. Don't worry about the network fee. The risk if you don't pay the network fee is that your coins stay on the exchange. And if there's an issue with the exchange, you may never get your coins. You might be locked out, not your keys, not your crypto. But yeah, click on send now. Um, and then I have to enter that code here from the Auth Authenticator, Authenticator app. And uh, that's it. Then we go back to the Trezor wallet after a few minutes and you can see it has turned up. You click on Ethereum again, you click on tokens. There you see your quant tokens on your Trezor wallet.